This week we had some fun with the family. Owning a real estate business is 24-7. We also got some HOA beef. Mother Nature tried to take us out. We also checked out a flip that is in the northwest of Atlanta. Get ready, this episode's a good one. see a listing uh, that we have coming up in coming it's on the lake it's actually it is raining uh, we only got like 20 minutes but we're here to do the consultation so a big portion of our business is to work with real estate investors some of them do fix and flips which means that they buy a house in a really bad shape they come in and fix it up and then they sell it for a profit Whew, it's raining Este lo podemos extender un poquito más. Un poquito más y poner el sink aquí. Not a lot of people know that my husband has something about interior designing. He knows how to design like anything home related. Um, our house, people used to think that I would decorate it and pick out certain things, but my husband did the whole uh, designing of our kitchen, our master bedroom, his office, the living room, everything. Like he has an eye for colors, uh, for what's trending, and even things that are about to come new or things that are like not trending, he can tell you right away. And I love that about him. Mira, the heavy No me lo arruiné. Hey. <laughs> Something that I do that is very unique to me is that I get heavily involved in the process. So like, I know exactly what buyers are looking for in a house. So I guide them through the process so they don't overspend or over improve the house on things that don't really matter and buyers don't care about. He's very involved with the investors on uh, interior designing and, you know, making all these decisions of color, of uh, all the things um, he likes to, you know, get with them and choose what's the better plan for that specific home. So now we're on our way to, to do the open house and I got a text from the seller yesterday that the HOA, like president or whoever it was, they took down my open house signs. According to their um, bylaws and restrictions or whatever and rules, there are no other signs other than the sign, the for sale sign allowed in the neighborhood. But that happens, sometimes we have to deal with um, people who have just nothing to do and they just wanna be painful. Uh, my client's trying to sell this place and they're not making it easier on him to sell this place. Like. It's just directional. It's like they're only gonna be up for like three days. Chill out. All right, I'm pulling up to the neighborhood, and they took out my signs. Why? Who? The HOA. Look, my signs are here. They were supposed to be here, and they're not. They took out my signs. What in the world? Oh, Look. for the open house. Yeah, I left the sign. There was a sign right there, and they took it out. Hosting the open house and I'm walking to it right now and there are some people waiting already. That's a good sign. It's a good sign. We need to get this sold. So yeah, they put my signs over here. So alright, no worries. Let's stay proper. So the open house was a success. We had multiple people come in and show a lot of interest on the property. So one particular couple that came in, they really loved the house. Uh, it was a perfect fit for them. It was at the perfect price as well. And uh, one thing that they really liked is the oversized master, which this property has a big master bedroom. And then the park across the street that y'all had seen in other videos, but it's a big selling feature. Um, I was actually excited for them because it seemed like this was the perfect buyer. They were able to contact their agent right away and then their agent put an offer together. Uh, they wanted us to take the offer right there and then because they saw more people coming in. So I talked to my seller, my seller was like, okay, well, they sent me a good offer, you know, I will take it off the market and go ahead and take a deal right now. Thank you, have a good day, bye-bye. 
All right, so I don't think we're gonna have a in the world. Oh, get out of here. Did, did I catch that on video? I hope I got that on video, but he just tried to kill me. So after negotiating for a while with the other agent, we were able to secure my client a full price offer. We did have other parties interested, but my client said, you know what, I think this is the perfect buyer, so let's go ahead and go under contract with them. So we got out of the car and now we're on the way to the stadium. Um, so we're excited to go. Cause we're in the sweet. Um, but it's gonna be, I'm gonna, it's gonna be fun though. Like, fun. So this weekend we got invited from our friends from My Michael and Gray, which is a firm that's here locally in Atlanta. My friend Jake, which is one of the attorneys from the firm, gave us tickets to go to the games at their box. Uh, my family was definitely excited because they love to go watch the Atlanta United play. Are you guys excited? I am excited. Are you? I'm very excited. Like, very excited. When my husband first became a realtor, I would get so upset about him taking calls or making phone calls at, you know, if we were at a family thing or dinner or whatever it was, I would get upset. Now I understand that in the real estate business and owning a business, there are certain things that are very time sensitive and certain things have to be addressed in the moment. So I had to step out to take this phone call because I got a call from a buyer, that a very serious buyer, that wants to go ahead and submit an offer for one of my listings. I feel like the kids are very understanding about my husband's job. They would get upset about it at first. Uh, they wanted their daddy present at all times, 100%. But now they understand that if daddy has to take a phone call for five, 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, it's okay because once that phone call is over, we get to have him back to ourselves a hundred percent. So I had to take some time to put that deal together. I called the seller and I told him, hey, this buyer wants to go ahead and offer this much. So we were able to negotiate the deal and we're gonna go ahead and get everything signed in the next couple of days. So now it's just time to relax and enjoy the game with my family. <laughs> 